Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So it's season 25, and this is war number two. And we're going up against an alliance called Indian Avengers. All right, so we're going to go in here and we're going to scout out the uh, defense. And then we're going to see what team I plan on bringing in here. All right, so, okay. I take path three in section one, and as you can see, there is no defenders on my path. So, of course, I'm going to more than likely take out this Medusa. She's got Strike Counter Fury, some armor. That Strike Counter Fury is nasty because that means that uh, she's going to be auto blocking a lot. All right, now I can probably bring in. I'm thinking Black Widow Clairvoyant can do it. Um, but I would need to stick to heavies if I used uh, someone else like uh, my Warlock. Uh, or I can bring in Nick Fury and uh, stick to heavies. But I'm thinking, yeah, I'm thinking maybe Warlock. And uh, just do a parry heavy uh, on her. All right. Uh, let's see. Next up here. Um, Mojo. He's got this power snack outlast backup recovery. Uh, I can take him if I bring uh, Warlock or Nick Fury. I can take him out if need be. Ooh, and then we've got Mole Man. Uh, that can be an annoying fight. That EMP modification is very, very annoying. Uh, I'm not sure I'll take that fight. Uh, and then we see a familiar face. We've got uh, Colossus. Colossus on um, this node is very common, but Black Widow Clairvoyant takes him out pretty easily. Uh, and then we've got Thing here. Uh, now, this is actually pretty ugly because this explosive personality means you don't really want to hit into their block but if you don't bait out or he decides not to throw his specials one way that you can generate power so that you can bait out a special is to hit into their block so uh, a scenario would be he's uh, at one bar of power but he has 14 rock charges and he fires the special off now he's got no energy 14 rock charges normally you would just hit into the block until he gets enough for that special and then bait it out uh, so that can be a pretty good placement but uh, nick fury should be able to handle him uh, without too much difficulty, provided I don't mess up. All right, and then Doom here. Uh, that can be annoying. Someone usually comes in uh, to deal with Doom, uh, usually the one that takes uh, Path 1 here, uh, because they already have counters for a buffet and all of that, so they usually bring someone in to handle that uh, Doom. Uh, if I end up having to take him, I'll probably use a Warlock uh, if he's still in good shape. All right, so now we've got Mini Boss Island, and we've got a Mojo Boss. Um, we've got ooh, we've got a Cosmic Ghost Rider. We've got a Nick Fury. Uh, I have soloed Nick Fury there uh, before. Uh, if I bring my Nick Fury, uh, we can do that. Uh, same thing with Sorcerer Supreme. Nick Fury can handle her. Uh, so could Warlock. Off to the right here. Um, we've got Man-Thing. Black Widow Clairvoyant can do that fight, provided I don't mess up. Uh, Apocalypse. I'll try to avoid. I don't like him, and I don't like that node. Uh, Magic. Uh, trying to think. I probably won't mess with that Magic. Uh, with the team that I will be bringing in. Uh, her limbo would probably take me out, but someone else will bring in probably the backup 
uh, we'll bring in a counter for that magic. All right, so uh, we'll be back and I will do these fights off screen and then I will comment over them. So I will see you guys in a moment. All right, so we're back. And as I promised, we're gonna get into the fighting. So you can see the team that I decided to go in here with. It's becoming somewhat of my standard team, uh, unless I see someone that uh, those three would not be able to handle, uh, or if I had a better counter, uh, I'll bring that one in instead. All right, so no defender on that first node, no defender on that second node. So our first fight is the mini Medusa. All right, now I decided to go in here with Warlock and Warlock can do this fight, but he was certainly not the best choice. Uh, I should have done this with Black Widow Clairvoyant. Uh, and if I have to do this uh, type of fight again, I will go in there with her. And I'll tell you why as the fight gets underway. So starting off, uh, it's pretty straightforward. What I want to do is, you know, parry heavy, get the infections on, um, you know, try to get her down uh, quickly because she's going to be building up furies. All right. Now, notice the two different types of furies that she's building. OK, she's got her furies, which are active buffs, and she also has those passive furies from the node. All right. Now, I decided to go with a parry heavy you know, get the bleeds on her style, but it's dangerous. And I'll show you why. Look at the damage that I just took from a parry. Look at the damage I'm taking from her hitting into my block. That's a lot of block damage because she has a lot of furies up right now. So I took almost 30% of my health in just chip damage. You know, um, 24, uh, 23, sorry, uh, percent of my health in uh, block chip damage. So if I had used Black Widow Clairvoyant, a couple of things. One, Black Widow Clairvoyant could heal up on the next fight. And also she would nullify uh, some of those uh, furies that Medusa got. So that's actually a pretty decent placement for Medusa. All right, so now we are moving on to section two. All right, they've already cleared the middle. They cleared that little mini there. And so my first fight is Colossus. Very popular uh, placement for Colossus. And if I didn't have a Black Widow Clairvoyant, uh, he might be more of a challenge, but Black Widow Clairvoyant can pretty much take out Colossus on this node every time without too much difficulty. Now I'm boosting up simply because I have a lot of boosts and I don't want them to expire. So take a look at the active buffs. If you're familiar with this node, you already know, but you can see that you want to have someone who is bleed immune, but also can nullify. And that is perfect for Black Widow Clairvoyant. So she's not gonna be taking any of those thorns damage. Uh, and she also will nullify those armor ups. And they've taken, uh, they've, they've selected the protect global, but she doesn't do that much damage in each hit. So she doesn't really trigger the uh, protection. So she's perfect. She is perfect for uh, this fight and for, you know, quite a few fights in here. Very versatile. I do not regret taking her up to rank three. She has proven herself far worthier than I even thought when I took her up. So look at that. That fight, very straightforward, very, very easy. All right. Um, and I did have to fight him once with a less than optimal uh, person, but ooh. Uh, but with, with Black Widow Clairvoyant, that, that fight is pretty easy. All right, now, um, I talked about this earlier, uh, but Thing is a good placement here. So, 
<laughs> this fight, uh, it, it, it went okay, but I think I struggled a little bit more than I should have. Um, but as you can see here, uh, we're getting him down. Um, his health is going down very nicely. And the real Nick Fury is not even out yet. But I'm having to keep watch for his rock stacks. And with uh, Nick Fury, you don't have to watch them as much, but you do still have to watch them. Okay, so you see here, he's at 12. And uh, I could just keep doing medium mediums and get it down, um, but I don't always do that. So like right here, um, I pushed him to 15. Now I need to bait out that special two. And I keep parrying him because my timing was just off a little bit. All right, we got him to fire the special two. And then he fires the special one. His um, rock charges are under control. He triggers protection, which is very, very annoying. Uh, every once in a while, uh, Nick Fury will trigger that, but not usually. Okay, so at this point, I really would love to get him to 15, but I didn't want to push it too close to um, his uh, special three. Okay, so here, this is what you don't like to see. He was at 14 and he fired his special. But because Nick Fury can um, uh, uh, reduce the rock charges, um, it wasn't that bad. Now, right there, I actually pushed him and got an unstoppable. So I had to scramble and just start parrying to keep from getting uh, trapped in the corner from that unstoppable. So that was a little sloppy on my part. Um, but we recovered and we got thing down. So definitely wasn't as easy as it should have been because uh, I just wasn't uh, on, on my game at that point. But I decided to go ahead and tackle this Dr. Doom. All right, now you have that strike counter combat rate my way of dealing with that node is to usually ignore it. Go in with someone who I don't care about their specials so I can be suppressed and we can just go. All right. So the idea here is to just basically let the bleeds do some good work. And so I'm like, all right, we got this, but I'm taking some damage and I'm just like, okay. Um, and then I've got this shock on me. I'm like, all right. Uh, and there's buffet. So every time I evade that special one, um, he's going to heal up. And so at this point, I'm like, okay, I need to actually, you know, start doing some damage. I don't want him to heal all the way back up. Uh, but I want to avoid the decks as much as possible. But as you can see here, he's just healing up, healing up. Okay. Okay. Um, he's firing those specials off and I have to be careful because when I have the shock on me, uh, I don't want that shock on me because he can do that heavy right there. And if I'm close to him when he does that, forget about it. And I'm taking a lot of damage and then boom, I got hit with the heavy because I'm looking up going, why am I taking so much damage? And so now the real Nick Fury's out, right? But I've got to bait out this special too but he doesn't want to throw the special two. Look at him. He does not want it. Then he throws it and catches me. I was so upset. I'm just like, come on, throw your special two. Throw your special two. Wouldn't do it. Then at the worst possible time, that's when he threw it. I've evaded his special two before, but no. So I'm just like, okay, I'm not allowing him to live. He's not gonna live to tell the tale of how he beat my Nick Fury like that, okay? So here, I'm going in here with uh, Warlock, and I looked up and I'm like, wait, I got a, 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 a um, shock on me, and I didn't want that. And just look at the damage it's doing. This is crazy. He hasn't hit me, and he's doing all of that damage. I'm like, oh my goodness. You know, I have less than half my health, and he has not hit me yet okay so i finally managed to finish him off but look at my health that's 
crazy. So I don't know if I'm going to tackle Dr. Doom again. Of course, uh, Black Widow Clairvoyant, um, she might be able to handle that. But really, you want somebody with a heal block. Um, so I probably will let, uh, if we come with a Dr. Doom there, I'll let uh, one of my alliance mates tackle that Dr. Doom uh, unless I'm asked to. Uh, because although Nick Fury can do it, uh, I don't know if he's the best for that, uh, Dr. Doom. All right. So, uh, after that, I'm spoiling for a fight and, uh, I was asked to tackle this, uh, Cosmic Ghost Rider. So I'm just like, oh boy, I'm a little nervous, but I'm going to go in here with Claire. Now, you know, this is a rage node, but Claire can nullify those, so I shouldn't have to worry about that. Uh, she's not really a heavy um, bleed-type champion, so it doesn't matter that I can't put a bleed on him. He's also incinerate immune, so I can't do that, um, but that's fine, because my plan going in here is to basically just play him like normal. Um, fight him the way I've, I've normally fought him. Uh, I, I have practiced evading that special one um i'm not so good at evading the special two so i will try to avoid it as much as possible all right so we're just going in here and you'll see that i'll sometimes not finish the uh combo that's because every so often when i finish the combo with a medium the game reads it as a light attack and with uh, Black Widow Clairvoyant, that switches her. I'm so glad I decided to boost up with the Indestructible or else that would have just been a little bit more painful, but I could have just switched over to the Curse of Blood and healed that back up. So it wasn't that big of a deal. Um, but why I put that invulnerability on was because I wasn't sure whether I was gonna be able to avoid getting hit with a special three. Uh, I was, I don't think I've ever fought a Cosmic Ghost Rider on this node before. Um, but as I'm watching and, and, you know, as the fight progressed, I saw that I was not going to have that problem. We almost got wrecked right there. Uh, but I knew that I wouldn't have a problem. And uh, we got him down. Not too bad. Not too bad at all. So... You know, I'm feeling a little bit better about that uh, loss that I took to Dr. Doom. Uh, I always hate dying. But at this point, uh, the fight, uh, the war is looking pretty good. Uh, we are in control. They are pretty far behind in terms of points. So unless we really messed up across the board, we were pretty sure that we had this one won. All right, so I was asked, hey, if you feel comfortable tackling that Nick Fury, we'll go ahead. So I said, sure. You know, I looked at the, you know, difference in our score and I'm like, all right, let's try it. Now, I've fought Nick Fury on this node before and I've gotten a solo uh, against Nick Fury. Um, he is tricky. All right, um, you saw there that he went unblockable but the reason that it didn't uh, continue, I believe, is because his tactical charges went low. So one of the things I try to do, I try to push him to a special two whenever possible. All right. And I believe the node also makes his special one unblockable. Um, but as long as you can evade the first part of it, you can block the next. And we also have Hurt Locker. That's why I fired off that special one there. All right, now at this point, what I wanna do is I wanna get him to his second phase, okay? Right here, I didn't manage to do it, but we were able to block, uh, you know, the last parts of it, all right? And so I'm, I'm right here letting his tactical charges go down a little bit. That's why I'm parrying like that, all right? You'll notice if you uh, looked at his tactical charges, they're going down every time I parry, all right? So now, we're in a second phase. This is where having a high SIG Nick Fury can be useful. 
because what I want to do is let the uh, degen do some work. But the higher his sig, the longer this mode right here takes. And so there's more opportunity for me to mess up and uh, or, or get hit or something like that. So now the degen is done. All right, and I have my special two ready. And boom, good night, Nick Fury. That was a picture perfect fight against Nick Fury. Black Widow Clairvoyant is a beast. All right, so we'll take a few minutes here and we'll be back after a short intermission and you'll find out how this war ended. And we're back. And as you can see, we won this war. So that's going to do it, guys. Thank you all for watching the video. Feel free to hit that like button if you enjoyed it. Leave a comment. Let me know what you thought about this video. And you all have a blessed day.